welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Chrissy thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video so let me start off by just saying if you have not watched the my video about my boyfriend's birthday weekend make sure to go watch that one first before you guys watch this one because it explains so like it explains everything why I'm making this video okay so currently right now it is Saturday I want to say like six o'clock um, I'm currently starting to pack because I leave to Mexico tomorrow um, long story short, I leave at 10 a.m. I'm going with my grandma. Speedy leaves, my boyfriend, leaves at 4 a.m. And he's taking um, my suegra's mother-in-law and her sister-in-law. So we're going separately just because he's staying longer than I am. So, yeah. That's basically what is going on, guys. I am so, 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 I'm like out of breath. I'm so excited for my suegra. I'm so happy for her. So, yeah. I'm taking you guys along the whole journey with us. And you guys are going to see everything okay so i'm super excited i asked her if this was okay to film she said yes so yeah i'm taking you guys along with me so you guys are going to be a part of when she walks out and when she shows us that she is coming home so i'm super excited for her she deserves this i absolutely love that woman uh i don't want to start crying because i've already cried like twice this week um i miss her so much she's already been gone for a week and it's just been like so hard on everybody i feel like because she like we need her like she is literally everything to the family and we cannot live without her and we just hope and been praying to god that she will be coming home which i know she will <sighs> been praying and yeah so that is what we're doing right now um speedy is on my boyfriend i don't know why i always call him speedy but he's my boyfriend guys he's on his way home right now from work so he's gonna start packing but he is actually staying at his mom's tonight because he leaves so much earlier than me and he has to pick up his family and stuff um i'm not leaving till 10 because i have the babies so i'm in charge of the babies i gotta feed them in the morning and then lee as you guys know my friend she is going to be taking care of my dogs for me while i'm gone so shout out to lee thank you lee i love you so much dude um so yeah i'm basically packing right now that is what I'm going to be taking. I'm only taking a small duffel bag because I'm not going to be there that long. And two, I'm not going to be wearing like anything crazy. So if you guys have ever been to Wattis, if you guys haven't, I just recommend going in like big sweatshirts and like leggings. Like nothing crazy. Like not how I would like actually dress like style or wear crop tops or anything like that. Just because, yeah, it's a safety thing. So... I'm just going to be wearing some, take some hoodies, some leggings, and just some like tissue, tissues. I cannot even talk, some tennis shoes. So I'm not going to be packing anything crazy, guys. I'm probably just going to be taking my glasses, and I'm probably going to just be wearing this hair for the next two days. So that is basically what is going on. I'm going to start packing, and I'm taking you guys along this journey with me. So this is my Swagodos journey, and I'm going to be showing you guys everything, showing you guys when we get to Wattis, when we travel tomorrow, and just everything so i'm super excited to take you guys along with me and i asked her if it was okay to vlog this she said yes so yes so i'm super excited guys uh it's just been it's been a crazy week and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start packing and i will see you guys i don't know maybe later today maybe if not tomorrow morning when we start traveling to Wada. so Good morning everybody. So last I spoke to you guys was yesterday. It was Saturday. It was like in the afternoon and I was packing. I was getting ready. So today is Sunday and it is 1020. So I actually am on my way right now to Wattis. So I just grabbed some coffee and I grabbed a little sandwich real quick because I don't know when I'm gonna eat if I won't eat till we cross so I was like I'm gonna grab something now and then I have to drive so I'm all coffee is going to be my best friend right now because I'm super tired but I am on my way right now I'm about to get on the freeway so I have to pick up my grandma and then she's actually on my way to like El Paso Juarez so I have to pick her up and then yeah then we're gonna head over across the border but i'm gonna take you guys along with me so i'm super excited to see my mother-in-law i miss her so freaking much i told you guys that yesterday um speedy my boyfriend as you guys know he just crossed about 20 minutes ago so he's already there he's with his mom so he's super happy and i'm so happy for him um but yeah we're about to head out right now i'm gonna drink my coffee and i got um badass coffee it's called um i absolutely love this coffee i actually heard about it from a friend yenny shout out to yenny she told me about it but guys it is so freaking good mm. it just like 
I don't know. It's just so much better than Starbucks and it like tastes more like at home coffee. I don't know. I don't know. It is so freaking good, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to get on the road. I just put some gas, so we're filled up, and I'm just going to be jamming to some music. So I'll see you guys when I get to my grandma's. All right, guys, so an update. Um, I picked up my grandma. We are headed to El Paso now, so I was driving the whole way, so we just switched because she is going to drive us to El Paso because she's going to be crossing us over the border because I can't speak Spanish, and she can. So we just stopped in Cruces because um, my uh, mother-in-law, her friend, needed lemons. I guess someone's sick over there, but Mexico is running short on lemons, I guess. I'm not too sure, but we. she had asked me if I could stop and grab her some so we grabbed her some in Cruces and now we're headed to El Paso so we're about 45 minutes away from the border so just letting you guys update you guys but that's where we're at and now yeah we'll be crossing the border here shortly and I'll see you guys when we get there And now we are just headed to a hotel. Oh, look, there's an IHOP. There's a McDonald's. That is actually the mall. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. His stepdad's in front of us right now. They met us at the border to pick us up, so we didn't have to drive. But that's the mall. So we got to the hotel. Me and my grandma are getting a bite to eat because we're starving. So we just got a quesadilla, but they bring you salsa but they bring it with bread and crackers so we're about to munch on that <laughs> my grandma's taking pictures of the menu <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try this out i've never had bread with salsa but i'm sure it's good try it grandma it's really good yeah or no mm -hmm. do you like it mm -hmm. it's good huh guys i just tried the bread with the salsa and it's honestly so freaking good it's Max, it is so good. So, this is how our hotel looks. A little glimpse of it in the front. They have a little Starbucks right there. We ate at that restaurant earlier, guys. It was so freaking good. There's Babe, Fit Check, a little Gym Shark matching set <laughs> are you excited yeah. for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow's Aww. a big, big day guys so yes, tomorrow's my energy is not up like it always is um, but tomorrow yes tomorrow. excited my grandma's right there she's taking pictures but this is what the hotel looks like it's really really pretty they have like a fountain in the front it's super cute and then there's like the front desk <laughs> Are you excited for tomorrow? Yes, I'm too excited. <laughs> You're really excited? Yes, yes. I'm excited. What did you say, Grandma? Oh, you want a picture? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the restaurant. We're eating at this place right here. It looks really cute. It's like a margarita seafood place. So. so we came to the bathrooms and I saw this hallway and it looks so freaking cool like it has so many different pictures i'm assuming all of these people are like famous <laughs> i'm not too sure but this is super cool all right so we just got our food i got a shrimp cocktail grandma got some ceviche tostadas got some meat we got a shrimp cocktail what else did you get babe tacos al pastor tacos al pastor yeah. Oh, you got tripas, mira, huh? Mira, tripita, mira, mm. mira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole game here. How's your food, babe? 
bomb, huh? It is so freaking good. These tacos, though, guys, they are smacking right now. <laughs> this michelada is so bomb, too. What is it called, babe? Chamuco. Chamuco. It's so freaking good. It is so freaking good. It's like 10 out of 10. This, this is smacking right now, too. It's so good. Sagra, are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Señora, habla Luis. No. first part of the video so it was kind of just a glimpse and everything of what we did that night or what we did like last night um when we went out to eat and kind of just like talked um where am i getting at this so basically i showed you guys a glimpse of what was what we did in mexico like a little bit of just stuff that we did and like what we did out there and like we spent time with family and like all of that but I know you guys were probably waiting for the part where I show her coming out of like the US Embassy and showing us her her papers but unfortunately uh -huh. that wasn't the case so we wanted to come on here and kind of update you guys on what happened and why I didn't show that and kind of just a little yeah what's going on so do you want to start me? Oh uh, yeah um so I really like different heights right now. He's sitting on his chair and then I'm sitting on my can filming you, chair. I think I can make it work. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, so pretty much, you know, I started this process um, like about, probably like about 10, 12 years ago. Um, pretty much when I was like in high school when I was like a freshman, I believe, is when me and my mom started the whole process on like how to become citizens and all that stuff. Um, so we pretty much got a lawyer and he was the one that was pretty much working our cases and still is working our cases. Um, I believe as soon as I graduated a year later after that is when I got my appointment in Mexico like my mom did. Um, and then mine didn't go as well either. Um, so pretty much the way, the way it had been for me, my story is a little bit different. I had gone a scholarship to go play soccer um a couple of colleges like fort lewis colorado mind and all that were in the mix <clears throat> um, but i decided to go out there to arizona um and the college was called auto university and i had signed um for them <laughs> my bad i'm sorry it's I uh, um i had pretty much signed for them um and it turns out that i couldn't get the full scholarship that i had wanted to because i have my green card so then that's kind of what, you know, was kind of a little bit tough because not a lot of people know this either, but while I was out there for Ottawa and I was at the training sessions, whatever, in the scrimmages and stuff, I was actually getting looked at by a D1 college, which is where Chrissy graduated from, which is Grand Canyon. But I didn't know that you needed to be like a citizen to get like a scholarship, a scholarship and stuff. So then that kind of mixed, you know, mixed everything up, messed everything up. So then I couldn't follow my my path that I wanted to at the time, which was to try to make it to the pro leagues or whatever in soccer. So fast forward into my appointment, they kind of did the same thing as my mom. Um, and it's kind of like, like an MVD, guys, where you kind of just go in there and you're getting interviewed and you're getting asked questions about how you came into the U.S., <clears throat> how long you've been here, um, you know, just a, a bunch of different questions like that. And so it turned out that I actually couldn't come back either. I actually had to spend some time in Mexico. I believe I spent like about a month out there. Um, and it was, you know, pre it's pretty tough. You know what I mean? Because you see people walking out with different colored papers and you kind of start looking at which ones are the good ones, which, was, which ones are the bad ones. You know, you see people's face expressions, you know, their whole mood changes and stuff like that. So it's tough walking out of there. 
I mean, especially when you have your family waiting out there, you know, they're waiting for the good news and stuff. Like for my appointment, it was only my stepdad and my uncle who went. And I remember I walked out and they were like, oh, fuck yeah, like, come on, like, like show us the paper. And, you know, I did pretty much the same thing as my mom. I mean, I pretty much just stayed quiet and I didn't want to talk to them at the time because to me, it felt like, like, it, I felt like one of those movies where, you know, one of those war movies where they throw like a grenade and then it explodes and you don't like hear nothing in the background. You kind of just like have like a tunnel vision. You kind of just like are lost and you don't hear anything around you or see anything around you. So that's kind of what I felt when I came out of mine. And I pretty much just told them that I didn't want to talk until we got into the truck. You know, so the whole time on the way to the truck, I was just thinking like, damn, like this is my life now. No. I don't get to go back and be with my family, you know, and, and it's tough. It's tough for, for the people that are going through this or the people that haven't gone through it. It's a damn tough process. Like it really, really is because it changes your life so much. And I know God has a plan for everyone, you know what I mean? Because at that time I was taking life for granted and stuff. So I know he made my process like that because he wanted to teach me how to take life for granted. And got in the truck, spoke to it with my uncle and my dad. I told him, hey, like I they give me, you know, this blue paper pretty much saying that we're missing documents, that they're going to review the case once we send the documents. And yeah, I spent about a time, like a month in Mexico. Um, and then I came back and, you know, pretty much changed my whole point of view on life, how I live, how I work nowadays. I not like I used to be where I party all crazy and stuff like that. I pretty much just work hard, go after my dreams, do me and just try to do better for me, my family and I. Um, and it was kind of the same case when we went out there with my mom. She walked out and, you know, it's funny because there's a bridge where you can see everything, right? The whole embassy and everything and you can see the people walking out. And so my mom was wearing like a yellow jacket with like a black shirt, black pants. I had never seen my mom so confident in her life ever. She was so confident that day she woke up in a good mood. You know what I mean? There was... There was no reason why things should have been this way. And it's crazy because the night before that, my uncle ended up crashing his car into like a bridge and he went on top of the bridge. So we had already had a bad night before. Um, you know what I mean? So there was so much positivity, you know, the night before when we were at dinner, we were all talking about it, telling my mom, hey, this is your last dinner, you know, before you're a citizen and just stuff like that. And like I... I just remember her walking out and she was holding her little booklet and her head down and it was tough. It really was tough because we were just waiting. We had been waiting for like two, three hours and I needed to Damn. use the restroom and I wanted to wait because I didn't want to go and I wanted to be there. But like I was telling Chrissy, there was a point where time just felt so long and maybe it was just 40 minutes, but to us it felt so long. It wasn't really 40 minutes, so it was probably close to three hours. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like a whole year, like just waiting for her to come out. And I remember I told Chrissy at some point during that time we were waiting, I was just staring off into the embassy and I felt like my stomach hurt. I went to use the bathroom before, but I still felt like this pain in my stomach. And then I told Chrissy, I felt like my knees went numb and I'm not exaggerating or, you know, where people make shit up. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I really, really felt that. And that's when I decided to go up to the bridge and there, you know, look for my mom and stuff, and then that's when I saw her come out. So, like, he, the bridge that he's talking about is, <laughs> it's, it's a bridge, so it's kind of just, like, one of those bridges that you get to, like, one point to, like, the other, like, that you see in Albuquerque, like, you see the freeway, and then there's, like, a bridge over, and then there's, like, the, like, you know, like, the streets or whatever, so it was that type of bridge, and it was the U.S. Embassy, so that's where she had to go to like do her appointment. So what he's talking about is that we were we were on the bridge and we were looking over like the U.S. Embassy. So the U.S. Embassy obviously is like gated. It's like there's like guards out there and like you can't see you can't see in it. Like you can only see over it, and that bridge is like where you could see over it and where you could see like all of like the applicants like coming in and coming out, and you could see like um, U.S. Immigration and like U.S. Border Patrol, like all of that. So that's kind of like where we were standing. At so we could see over and we can know when she was coming out because where we were standing at originally it was like by a gas station and you can't see anybody like you can only see somebody going in and somebody coming out like past the fence so like it was like secured obviously because it's the u.s embassy so that's kind of where we were at and how like to explain it i don't know if i entered a clip or not um if you guys did you probably already saw it if i didn't i probably i don't know if i'm gonna share it or not just because like it was just a very emotional time and it was just it was hard and so basically like how he said that she we saw her come out 
and we saw her like her yellow jacket and we ran down the stairs so mind you these stairs aren't just like a straight way like it was like a windy stairs and we ran and we went up to her and then that's when it just kind of yeah it, it just kind of went sideways because my mom was a very you guys don't understand like there was people coming out of there and you see people like hugging each other you know what i mean and oh like yeah like let's go like you did it you know what i mean like you see people out there and it's pretty much they give you a green paper like when i was in there and i told my mom just look out for the green paper explain and look what out. papers are for so it's pretty much it's like a green blue and either a white or, or a red paper um obviously from the faces you see the the green paper is the good one the green paper is like the you know you made it like welcome to the u.s you're a citizen and then the blue paper is the one that me and my mom got pretty much saying that they're gonna review your case, you're either missing some paperwork or you gotta write a sorry pretty much, you know, blah 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 with what they want you to apologize for coming into the US and what you did. And then there's a red or a white paper, I don't know which one there is now, pretty much stating that you cannot become a US citizen at the time and you have to wait either 10 to 20 years to reapply. So those are the different type of papers that they give you. Um, when my mom was holding her booklet, like, I don't want to go into too much detail, but, you know, we all had our, obviously, Chrissy had her camera. Uh, we all had our, you know, cameras ready. We're all I ready just, to just kind of, like, document that moment, because I had talked to her about it before, and she was like, can you, like, record this? Like, can you, like, record it to where it's, like, I have it for a memory, and, like, she wanted it as a memory, so I was like, yeah, of course, like, I will make you, like, your separate video. And I'll make you like a separate thing for you just so you can have because like she wanted to show her mom like she wanted to show her mom like the moment it happened. So of course, mind you, I have my camera in my hand and I have my phone in my hand. And I'm trying to record both times like on both phones and everybody else had theirs out as well. And it was just like, like I said, we're not going to get into too much detail because it, it, it is like it's very sad. It's sad to think about and it hurts both of us. But it was just one of those things where we it didn't feel real it didn't it yeah didn't it felt like that's, that's the way it was it didn't feel real she came out and we just couldn't believe it and you know what i mean i, I had not seen my mom like this in literally years guys i don't think chrissy had ever i've seen never her like seen that. her I don't think like had this ever seen her like that. the last time i saw her like that was years ago and she like, was literally the 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 face the way her face looked she's you know, kind of so bad that like eyes. she couldn't even her eyes you know what i mean like you could just see it in her like you you just know the face of disappointment and you know what i mean when when you get told something bad it's like you know what i mean i could only imagine what she felt i mean when i went through mine yes it felt bad that i wasn't coming back with my family but i didn't i didn't have kids i didn't have a house you know what i mean like she has a lot of things that she's lived leaving you know and just pretty much going back and trying to Pretty much reestablish herself, like get comfortable, you know what I mean? Adapt Start to life. wherever she's she's gonna be with my grandma and family out there. And it's tough, like when you're used to a lifestyle and you're used to a routine, you wake up at this time, you go to work, you come back, you make dinner, you go to the gym, and, you know what I mean? It's completely different. And I mean, especially to Mexico, for those of you that have gone to Mexico, it's a complete whole different lifestyle to the US. And that's why sometimes I. <clears throat> I get on a lot of people here that are like, life is so bad here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but I mean, and I'm not saying we have it bad or, you know what I mean, that it's bad here or anything like that, but there really is places in the world where it's worse. And Mexico is definitely one of those places where there is some pretty parts where it's amazing and it looks beautiful and everything. And then there's the poverty side of it where, you know, the streets are cracked, there's holes everywhere on the road, there's people asking for money. Um, like Chrissy didn't believe me when I used to tell her this, but if you go to Mexico and you stay in the hotels, the water that's coming out of those faucets is like the water that you used to brush your teeth. <laughs> like the water doesn't cover your whole body. Um, you know what I mean? The bathrooms don't flush the same. The, the Everything, you know, it's just not the same. It's a whole different type of environment. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what we have to live with right now is the fact that I went and spoke with the lawyers the other day and... You know, it could be anywhere from nine months to, to a year, which is going to be staying out there. Um, it could be sooner if we get everything they need together, which we already, we're already working on that. And we're going to pray and hope that, that it's going to be a lot sooner because not only are we the ones that are affected by this, but I mean, my sister, you know, 
she's definitely you know taking this to the heart even though she's very strong and she's very she has a very strong character where she will not show if she's hurting and stuff but I'm sure somewhere deep down inside she is. I know this isn't easy for my stepdad, you know what I mean? My step grandma, my step auntie, like my mom is my step auntie's best friend. And she means the world to my step grandma and they were just devastated. I mean, I, I've never seen, you know, so many people cry and stuff, but something positive to look at is my mom has so much people that love and care for her and that are gonna be keeping her in my prayers. Um, you know, thank you guys so much for all the support and all the positive messages that you sent Chrissy, you know, saying that you guys were going to keep There's my family. There's a lot of you guys. There's a yeah. lot. And I was showing him and... Saying that you guys were keeping my family in your prayers and sending positive vibes. Um, If anyone on here that has me on social media reached out and I didn't get back to you, I apologize. Um, We really have been taking this time to kind of heal and... It's been you know, a lot. It's like... Your art, like not just her life change, like our life change too. Like we're managing, we're basically parents now. So we're like taking care of his little sister, which we love to do. But we're basically parents, and we're just trying to manage everything else. And I'm trying to manage my stuff, and he's trying to manage like his stuff. And it, it is, it's like it was a definitely like a life changing thing for both of us, and like our lives definitely changed, and in yeah. like. Not necessarily like a good way, but like it's been hard and stuff, but And keep it keep in mind we didn't film the video right away either because it has no, been hard. We this did. is let me tell you guys, this is literally Sunday the eleventh. It's been a week already it's since we week. filmed this. So. We we really did need it we needed the time. We needed the time to kinda of get back here and just relax because we were so worked up. This week has been crazy and we like, were so worked up the first, second day we left. Oh yeah. I mean it, it's tough guys. I mean leaving your mom and not knowing when the next time that yes, you're gonna yeah. see her here home because I'm gonna be seeing her for Christmas and I'm gonna be traveling a lot to see her there, but we felt like we left our like part of our heart yeah, in Mexico. Yeah. Guys, I was like bawling, like leaving her, like it was so sad because like I'm super close with her and yeah, it, it's just like, I don't want to start crying, but like, she's just like, she has, she's my best friend, honestly. Like, I could go to her for anything and everything, and like, she's just always been there for me, like, through hard times or whatever. And I just, I've never had a good, like, relationship or bond with, like, a mother in law, like, the way I do with her. And I don't know, it was just, it was sad. It was sad leaving her, like, we still feel like it's the, obviously the pain and that. Feel we feel like, empty. You feel empty. You feel empty. It's like I was telling Chrissy, like, she was trying to describe how like how she felt but she didn't know what word to use and mm -hmm. I'm like it's it's empty like you feel empty you don't just feel like the same you feel like you know even though she was well maybe like 30 40 minutes away from us I mean still not knowing that you can't make that drive and just see her and stuff like that it's, and it's now crazy. we look back at it and we're like this was a reality check for us too to not take it like I could take anything for granted. No, like, and you and know what I mean? And go maybe, seeing her more and go doing stuff. And we were always, like, with her. At least, at least saw her once a week. But, like, now we think about it, like, we should have maybe done it more. And, like, we should have, like, you know, because we knew this time was coming and we had to prepare for the worst. And, like, obviously, are the best. Like, whatever happened. And it hit us that we the, didn't get how we wanted. Yeah, but. The, the good thing out of all of this, though, is that, like, I told Chrissy and I told my mom, like, I told her we gotta be prepared for the good and the bad and mm -hmm. I'm at least glad that we prepared for the bad because right now we're taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of we're not stressing we figured it out right away like at least after my experience I knew like you gotta go there and you gotta prepare for the best and for the worst and I know that no matter what we were prepared for anything and I know that God made me into the person I am today for this occasion like I was this is crazy I was telling Chrissy like I feel like I met her because she's very similar to my mom. She does a lot of the things that my mom does for me. And I was telling one of my aunties and she goes, what you usually look for in a girl is what your mom gives you or what you, you know, you're know you used to with your mom and stuff like that. And Chrissy does do a lot of that. So I feel like in a way maybe God put Chrissy in my life because he knew for a short period of time in my life I was going to be missing my mom. And the closest thing to my mom that I was going to have is Chrissy because she does do a lot of the same things that my mom does, you know. So that that's you know a little bit of the positive things is that at least we're trying to get through it and we keep holding our heads high and we keep pushing and we know it's gonna be okay. You have to um, keep going. <laughs> we have to keep going no matter what because I know my mom wants us to keep going. I know my little sister wants us to keep going and we don't even have a choice whether they want to or not. We just gotta keep going for it. We have to. Have to keep going. But um, 
But yeah, I mean, it, it is tough. It is tough. Yeah. Even to hop on this camera and do this, like, I'll be really honest with you guys. Like, he was. I, I did not want to come on and do this. He, he didn't, and I didn't force him. And then I was like, if you don't want to, it's fine. Like, I'll go ahead and do it. And then he's like, no, it's fine. Like, I should probably, like, yeah, I, I be here for you and kind of, like, yeah, explain it his way, too. Be, you know, just have Chrissy be here and not have my support through because she's been very supportive throughout this whole process, honestly. Um, then she filling in the shoes pretty good at that she has to fill in you know what I mean she doesn't have to fill him in is what I'm saying but, but she's filling him in and she's trying to do her best around here and she really is helping me and my little sister out a lot but yeah I mean we're it is very tough to hop on this camera and even do this type of video and we don't, well, don't ask mind for any, <laughs> we don't okay. ask for any type of sympathy for you guys to feel bad for us anything like that it's just pretty much an update because if we don't post any type of video then you guys are gonna be like well what, what happened, happened? Like, what's going on the same thing like I did on my Instagram the other day, I shared a video because there was so much people literally DMing me, snapping me, messaging me, texting me, whatever, that I couldn't even get back. And the reason why is because, like I said, we've been taking this time to kind of heal, to kind of just get our stuff together, to realize that this is reality, get our little reality check and just realize that we have to keep going. Um, but before we even close this video out or anything, the same thing that I said on my video that I shared, don't take anything in life for granted like really don't um because you never know when it's going to be the last time you're going to have this or the last time you're going to see your mom your dad hug them with everything you have every single day you know what i mean um even if they're calling you you don't feel like picking up the phone and you're like oh my god they're calling me again just pick it up because for those two three minutes that could be the best two three minutes of their life if they tell you hey like let's hang out this weekend the clubs are always going to be there. Your friends, the alcohol, that type of stuff is always going to be there. But your parents, like that, that's completely, completely different. You know what I mean? Um, that's just completely, completely different. And I feel like you should really enjoy and live every day to the fullest and live it like it's your last. And be there for your family, your friends, your loved ones. <clears throat> like I said, don't, this world should not be the way it is. You know what I mean? You should not assume that this person doesn't like you or you don't like this person and that's the reason you don't like each other. Like, just treat everyone with, with respect. Um, you know what I mean? Don't jump to conclusions, nothing like that. Just be very positive and treat everyone the way you want to be treated. I mean, that's something that I've learned out of this. You know what I mean? I always believe that everything happens for a lesson and stuff like that. And I don't know what God's lesson is out of all of this, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, why me, God, and why my family? And why do you have to do this to me again? Like, that's not the way to do it. Instead, I told him, right, thank you. Like, I know you're gonna try to teach me something out of this. And <clears throat> I know this will make me and my family stronger. And it's gonna be a while and it's gonna take some time, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be worth it when everything's over. And, and that's pretty much all I have to say out of this. Is thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been showing Chrissy. Um, like, subscribe, comment on her channel, of course, all that stuff. We will be traveling to Mexico City. Um, I will be taking you guys with us. He's actually going for Christmas. I'm not. Um, just because I got to hold it down here. We have the dogs and we have all that. My sister just gave birth. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be going, unfortunately. But we will be going in February, I believe. We're gonna take some time, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna go see her, and then I think we're gonna take her to hopefully Cancun. Um, just to get her, that's where she wanted to go after all this, so we'll see how it, like, during that time when it comes. But, just to be there for her and kind of like, lift her up and stuff and take her where she's been wanting to go for a long time, so. So yeah, that is basically the update guys, that is what's going on. I wanted to update you guys on what was going on. I never posted really anything on my Instagram. Um, I did just post like some pictures of me and her, um, but I never really said like what happened. I know him and I have different um, platforms, like different followers and stuff, and he posted it on his. And there's a lot of you guys that do follow him, but I wanted to update you guys on here as well because I did post that I was vlogging it. So yeah, that is basically all for this video, and he said what he had to say, so... I hope you guys, I mean, not necessarily enjoyed this video, but you guys got something out of this video and the talk, positives out of this yes, video. the positives. So we want out you guys to pick up always the positive out of everything in life. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I said, don't take anything for granted. Just keep living every day, and I don't want to go on a whole Just keep being you, but. and just 
be there for, like I've said this in my last video, um, be there for everybody around you, people that love you, and yeah. But like I said, this is the concludes today's video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey of mine, and I will see you guys.